I don't know who unplugged the ice machine, Delvin. It's a mystery. A mis I don't know who unplugged. Oh, hi, everyone. Jared Albrecht, the yard sale artist here with another episode of I Finished It. I gave it its own theme song. You know, I just don't look right without my hat. Put my hat on. There we go. Got my visor. Now I'm official. Anyway, welcome to I Finished It. Our exclusive show for our Crusaders Club members is a thank you for being a Crusaders Club member. And I have finished something once again. This time around, I finished a very little-known movie called The Sadist, starring Arch Hall Jr. from 1963. Um, I picked this up at the Goodwill for, I think it was a dollar, because I'm always interested in these movies of years gone by, in this case, 63, that I've never heard of, and they're very B-list. I don't know. I'm just kind of into that. I like old, you know, I, I watch a lot of mystery science theater. That's probably all you need to know. So I picked this sadist up, knew nothing about it, okay? The only thing I knew is that Arch Hall Jr. was in another B movie of the 60s called Ega, which also starred Richard Keel, who played Jaws in the James Bond films. Obscure, yes, I know. So the sadist, you know, I look at the title and I go, ooh, uh, I don't know. It's, uh, it's kind of a scary title, right? And I see Arch Hall Jr. on the cover there, looking a little scary with his 45 pistol, and it looks like there's a dead... Uh, motorcycle policeman behind him I'm like what's going on here so i'll tell you what i will read you the synopsis from the back of it since probably most of you aren't familiar with it okay here's the synopsis the sadist is a film so horrifying in its implications that it will haunt you for the rest of your life not true i watched it uh, but it was good uh, and i will get to that charlie tibbs an escaped homicidal maniac has left a trail of rampage and murder across the countryside kind of true um and i'll address that when a group of school teachers stop to repair their car on a desolate highway, they are brutally attacked by Tibbs, who tortures them in a terrifying game of cat and mouse. True. Artal Jr., who starred in a series of Fairway International films in the 60s, had previously only been cast as an all-American rock and roll type. In The Sadist, however, he gives the performance of his career in a role so unforgettable that his ferocity remains unsurpassed in the annals of, his, of horror. I don't know. That's probably... Um, Probably uh, a little bit of an uh, exaggeration, but it, it, it was very good. Hall's portrayal, along with a vivid screenplay and cinematography by future Academy Award winner Vilmos Zygmunt from The Deer Hunter, creates a powerful work of art that is as shocking now as it was in 63. So I was like, okay, you know, what am I in for? I really didn't know at all, aside from what I read on the back. What am I in for? I was like, am I going to maybe end up not liking this movie? Is it going to be too rough around the edges? I got to tell you, this movie was excellent. Uh, this is a very low budget movie from the 60s. But when I say low budget, don't associate that with a bad movie. I know I said I watch a lot of Mystery Science Theater. I would say this movie is too good to be on Mystery Science Theater. Every once in a while, there's a movie on MST that the movie itself, the plot is driving so well that you don't necessarily pay enough attention to the comedy and the jokes are being made. Uh, it's rare on Mystery <laughs> Science Theater, but occasionally they they make that misstep. This would have been a misstep to put on Mystery Science Theater. It's a good thing they went with Ega, which um, also had Arch Hall Jr., because that one is easily mockable, um, and it has its own charm, but it's, yeah, it's fodder from MST. This is not, this, I, I'm surprised this is not discussed in more um, film circles. This uh, performance. The performances here were great. Um, when I said earlier about it being low budget, they, they were really smart with it because the movie only really features about five main actors and there's a few other side characters that kind of that kind of make their way into it. But it's it really is only on five actors in the um, um, oh, what's it called? Junkyard. Yeah, they're in a junkyard. Like I said, these teachers pull off to get their car repaired. Arch Hall Jr., the, the villain of the film, and his girlfriend are already there. They've uh, already um, killed the uh, owners of the junkyard, and that's pretty much where the movie starts. And it all takes place in and around the junkyard. So they didn't have to spend a lot of money on sets and all that. It was all filmed right there on location. Performances are really, really good. Setting's good. Cinematography's good. The story was engaging. This is one of those ones where I popped in, didn't really know what I was going to get. Thought, well, maybe, you know, maybe I'll just play around on my phone, check Twitter and stuff, and kind of half pay attention to the movie. Nope, I stayed engaged. Uh, the movie runs at 95 minutes, which is about perfect. 
I think it could have been cut maybe just a, a little bit more, but 95 minutes wasn't bad. The only thing I didn't like was um, was how our our main villain here, what his ultimate fate is. I don't want to spoil it for anybody. Uh, I, I really wanted one of the one of the one of the three teachers that stopped to um, to get their car fixed to play a significant role in the downfall of this very bad bad guy that we see on the cover. Um, and, and unfortunately you don't really get that satisfaction. I was really wanting to see this guy get his, uh, his comeuppance and, and he does, but I, I think it could have been in a more, uh, satisfying way for the audience. That's my only complaint, but otherwise, wow. Uh, again, I can't believe more people don't talk about this, uh, from 63. This is a really well-made real tight, kept my interest the whole time. Um, I would call it a, almost a horror film, but more like a. Thriller, uh, thriller is probably the best best word uh, for it. Good, good film. I'm really glad I picked it up. Surprised at how much I liked it. Uh, I would actually recommend it. Uh, don't be thrown off by the the title like I was. I was like the, the sadist. I don't know, man. That this movie might be a little, but no. Really good uh, sort of horror terror uh, thriller film from uh, the early '60s. Uh, highly recommended, actually. Good flick. And with that, that'll wrap it up for this episode of I Finished It. Thanks again for being Crusaders Club members. We truly appreciate it. And we'll see you guys around. I'm going to act frozen.